Hello, hey everybody. This is Dave Wallace coming to you from my home here in Wahewa, Hawaii. And uh, today I'd like to share with you folks uh, a way that I randomize my picks. And uh, the reason why I'm using Zoom is that I keep on making mistakes on um, on Facebook uh, live. Uh, I need to learn how to do that a little bit better, but uh, this is <laughs> uh, second best solution is to use something that I'm comfortable with and uh, I'll be posting it on um, on my site for today. Okay, um, right now I'm gonna be sharing with you uh, our screen right here and to get you folks uh, caught up on what we're doing. And uh, this is the screen for uh, the worksheet that we're gonna be using. And the worksheet is uh, self-explanatory. You can copy it right there. And since the topic is randomizing uh, the games, uh, you notice that there's something missing here. There's no, uh, there's no teams up here. Uh, we're going to be putting this in later. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is the NFL 2023 season, regular season game, uh, week number two. Uh, the over-under, we don't know what it yet, is yet. And uh, the date for this game is tomorrow, the 17th of September, and the place is to be announced, okay? So that's the administrative section. The rest is our work area. Uh, we're going to be creating a sketch here, uh, descriptors here once we start working. And this is our sensory place where we put our sounds, smells, uh, taste, texture, temperature, sight, um, everything that we can pick up about the target. And then here, um, because this is binary ARV, binary means two, uh, we're looking at over or under. Uh, there's going to be one photo that's going to represent over. And when we open up that envelope, we're going to be describing what that photo is here. And then when we open up our second photo, it's going to be representing our under. We we'll write our descriptors here. Once we get both of the uh, pictures out, we compare it to our sketch our, and our descriptors and our sensory data. And we decide which of the sketches for the over or the under matches what we saw or felt or sensed. And based on uh, how well these pictures match up, this is where we get our pick, okay? And then the final thing that we have here is our result. And uh, tomorrow at the end of the game, whatever game it ends up, well, we'll add up the score and see if it goes over and under and match it with our pick to see if we got it or not. Uh, the remaining part under here is for our feedback. Um, Tomorrow, once we know what the score is, uh, we'll put the actual sketch. Um, we'll create a sketch for the winning side and the descriptors uh, go here. Okay. So this is a format, uh, a little bit different. The only difference here is that we have a team, the team that's missing, uh, the over and is missing, and the place where the game is uh, played. Okay. Now, Here's where the randomizing comes in, okay? And these are six games that uh, we will be playing, uh, we will be looking at, and any one of these uh, can be chosen. And uh, if you want to play more, uh, do more than one pick, that's up to you. So here's the six, okay? And uh, there's the teams and the over-unders are right here, okay? Now, I play six because uh, the tool that I use to uh, the tool that I use to uh, make that decision uh, is this. Let me show you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the dice, and uh, of course the dice. <laughs> the dice has six sides, yeah. so. I'm going to be uh, rolling the dice to see which one, uh, which one of these games uh, we're going to choose. So we're set up for our uh, our games, and let's start working it. 
Okay. And um, again, this is a demonstration. So I'm going to be taking out my photos, um, photo packets. Okay. And there are 10 photos in here. And I'm going to be choosing two. Choosing two. Okay. This is one. And this is two. First envelope. This is the first envelope. So I'm going to tell myself um, describe the photo in this envelope. If the final combined score goes over, and I put it in the over. Okay. The overside right there. And describe the photo in this envelope. If the final combined score stays under whatever game it is. Okay. So it doesn't matter really game. No. What we're shooting for is whatever game that we're working. Or whatever game we were working. The score is either going to be over or under. So I'll put this in front of me. And choose right Okay, now I'm turning to the sounds. Gonna sounds I hearing, rumbling, swishing, splashing, smell and force, smell and taste. Texture, wet, temperature, cold, and sight. Kind of like a um, oval. Okay. So here's my sketch. And it looks like it's a little bit too dark, uh, too light. But um, here you go. <laughs> okay. Um, I drew some kind of oval thing. Okay. Uh, oval. Uh, and uh, some of the descriptors I got was uh, man-made person, water. It's outside, moving, cold, wet, and dangerous. The sound I heard was rumbling, swishing, splashing. Um, the smell and taste was something fresh. Texture was wet. Uh, temperature cold and um, sight an oval object, um, something oval uh, with possibly a person in it. Okay. And let's take a look at our first picture. This is representing um, the over. And okay, we got houses. Okay, so a frame house. And 
and this one. This one is a palm tree. Okay, so my my next job is to take a look at you know what I drew. Uh, what I drew here, okay, and to see if uh, which one of these uh, match better. And right off the bat, um, you know the the tree, the palm tree, doesn't look like it. Okay. In fact, uh, with the pointed uh, things that I got, um, it's more um, something like this closer, okay? So there's points on it. Okay, so for the sketch itself, I would be giving, um, let me choose this, okay? So for the sketch itself, for the A-frame house, I would be giving it a six out of 10. And for the sketch for the palm tree, um, I would probably give it a four out of 10. Okay. The next thing is I'm gonna be looking at the different um, descriptors for that match the aim frame house. Um, it's man-made. Um, when I talk about water and stuff, um, there's normally the color blue, so I'm gonna credit water there outside. Okay. And cool. So we got four that match the A-frame. And let's take a look at the uh, tree. Okay. Uh, we do have a building that's man made and it's outside. That's only two. So when I compare these things um, for and add up the points, the A-frame house has 10 total points and the palm tree has only six. So this uh, A-frame house represents the over. My pick for this game would be over. Uh, sorry. <laughs> okay. So my pick for the house would be over. And um, so that's my prediction for this particular game. Now, let's find out <laughs> what game it's going to be. And I'm going to toss the dice. I'm going to roll it. And the number came out was number two. Okay. And going to my list. Number two is uh, Packers and Falcons. Now I'm going to be filling, uh, filling this up. Falcons. And the over-under is 40.5. So my prediction would be over 40.5 for the Packers and Falcons game tomorrow. Okay. So this is the worksheet for tomorrow. Okay. And so the Packers and Falcons game over and under. My prediction is that the game should go over 40.5. <laughs> okay. So look like I got the right angle. <laughs> All right. So I uh, hope this uh, was informative. And if you folks have any questions for me, 
please feel free to contact me. And uh, again, my name is Dave Wallace, and uh, thanks for watching. And see you folks next week. And uh, hope your predictions go well. Aloha.